Yo, what's up guys, it's Dan or Pred here, and today what I'm bringing you is a beastly double chem strike on the map Octane using a Honey Badger Assault Rifle, and um, yeah, this was actually quite a good game, I think this was on the 27th of December, a couple of days after Christmas, so there were still Christmas noobs lurking around, maybe just reaching their level 10 stage, I don't know who, what kind of enemies I was playing against this game, um, they were probably newbie, obviously, because it was two days after Christmas. Um, I can't really see their ranks specifically because the uh, screen's a bit too small for me to um, see it properly. But whatever, it's still a double chem nonetheless. Hope you do enjoy this video. And if you do, just an early reminder, be sure to hit the like rating and leave a comment saying how much you enjoyed or what you'd like to see next. And uh, yeah, that would be really helpful. And if you haven't already, be sure to click the subscribe button to see more double chems because this is my third out of the six I can upload still. Unfortunately, I have seven at this current time, but one of them went corrupt. One of the file video files that I recorded of a double chem went corrupt, which kind of sucks, but I still have a few more chems to upload after this one, so stay tuned. That's all I can say. But, um,. Just today's commentary topic will be about my COD history, and the reason um, that I decided to do a commentary over this is because I'm getting a little bit bored and burnt out of Call of Duty Ghosts at the minute, and um, I don't know whether that's to the fact I don't honestly like it. Um, I mean, I do like refer to this game as a piece of trash. I say it sucks a lot. Um, but really, that's just me raging. I mean, this game could have had so much, so, so much potential. And when I say that, I do mean it. Um, just a couple of things they could nerf or remove. The guard dog. All they need to do with that is reduce its health and make it a two bite instead of a one bite. Because this five kill streak really shouldn't be taking that many bullets to the face and um, chasing you across the whole entire map and killing you in just one hit or bite where, however it kills you it's just not fair because someone could get out of a care package the field or the thing I mean that was a load of shit to be honest that, that really shouldn't have been in the game um, what else? the squad mate, the support squad mate the reason why, the reason why that pisses me off is support support a support kill streak should not do something like that it really shouldn't for a start, it's got Riot Shield, which in a sense is incredibly distracting and overpowered against you because you end up spraying your whole mag into it. And then what he does is when he, when um, you finish shooting at him or just go to reload or retreat, he pulls out his fucking pistol and starts spraying at you. And as you know, the bots have aim bots, so they're going to hit every shot on you. And there's no way out of it. I mean, it's ridiculously unfair. You can't do nothing about it. Um, something such as, I think it's like a 11 kill, 11 like, kill thing. I know it, I know it doesn't reset after you die, so it's just like 11 kills or 11 points to get. Uh, I don't know if it's that amount, but it's somewhere around there. And, I mean, anyone can get that, and it can still piss me off. Another thing, the infamous IED. All you need to do is just reduce the range and reduce the damage. Or, make it non-lethal. Just make it like that little... What do you call it? Um, it's I don't know what it's called. It looks like a bouncing Betty, but it puts you on the minimap as like an oracle thing. Not on the minimap, on the screen as like an oracle. Just make it non-lethal. It doesn't need to be annoying. I mean, just a couple of those things would make this game really, really good. And I'd enjoy it a lot more. I'm not joking. But, um, yeah, enough about this uh, little rambling rant. It's not exactly a rant. I'm not mad. It's just a, it's just a few, a few facts about this game that really shouldn't be in it. But um, as, I, as I was saying, I'm going to do my a commentary on my COD history. And um, yeah, I'm, I might as well just start. So I'm going to be honest and say I haven't played COD properly. I mean, I've only played COD properly for a, about a couple of years now. Or not even, or coming up to a couple of years. Um, well, my first ever COD, well, the first COD I actually played was, um, I'm going to start it off by saying, I was in, I was 11 or 12 years old, and my friend, at sc my friend at school, he he used to play Call of Duty a lot, and um, he invited me around his house. I usually go around his house, and he he had this amazing new game called Call of Duty World at War. It wasn't exactly new, but it was new to me, and um, 
it had this little game mode called Nazi Zombies, and I was thinking, oh, cool, cool, um, because I used to play on the PSP, and I liked like survive all games, if you know what I mean, like that enemies that come in waves and stuff like that. I used to play a couple of games on my PSP. I can't exactly remember what they were, but um, I still found it fun. I was like, okay, okay, I'll come around and see what it's like. And boy, that get oh my god, I really, really freaking enjoyed it. It was so fun. Um, just, just the fact of the waves and the zombies. Zombies, I used to love zombie films, so a game of zombies was awesome. They brought new map packs out, so I kept going around his house playing it. I think he started getting annoyed because I literally just went around his house just to play the zombie game, which was really, really fun. Obviously, it was all fun and dandy playing with him as well, but um, yeah, I really, really liked the zombie mode. So I ended up investing my money into an actual Xbox 360 um, just to <laughs> play the game, actual game mode of zombies. And it wasn't all me that played it, it was my dad as well, it was mainly my dad that played it. I used to play split screen with him as well, so I didn't really play COD properly, I don't really count that as playing COD. Um, next, The next COD was um, Modern Warfare 2, I didn't even play that, my dad played that a lot. Um, I played like a couple of games, I used to go in private match with my friends and quick scope because I was a little, you know, squeaky 13 or 12 year old, you know, the standard, the standard noob, um, quick scoping faggot. But yeah, that was quite fun. I didn't really play it much. Um, next one was Black Ops 1, and my dad once again used to play that game a lot. Um, me and him combined took it up to about 15th prestige or whatever it was, and um, I think it had like a 1.3 or 4 KD. Um, I was the one that was keeping the KD up because even still that I, w I didn't play COD much, I was still decent at the game because I played um, other first-person shooters. And then there was MW3, which I really enjoyed because I dropped mobs, I dropped thousands of mobs. I'm not joking, mobs were really, really fun. Then came Black Ops 2. Not too bad, I must say, but it did start ra making me rage a bit. And now there's this. So that's kind of my history. There's not too much to it, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed uh, this video. Leave a comment on what your first COD was, and yeah, I'll see you soon. Peace.